guys. This is the entrance to the Hard Rock Casino. It's like a perfect size pond. That's what I want on my property. I'm dreaming it. I'm manifesting it to make it happen. Just something to float around in my kayak. Watch the birds come in. The grandkids swim. It's pretty. I'm walking over to the casino this morning to get some water and to upload my video for today. And I am, I'll show you, way over. I don't want to get you dizzy. I'm right over there. It's a pretty big place. The hotel's huge. It's so pretty, the only thing that's shining from the sun is the water fountain. It's pretty cool. And a bird just flew by. This is the main entrance. I guess it's where they have um, concerts at. I love it when they play music outside. I want that in my property someday. I wanted to come here at night and get it all lit up, but yesterday was a rough one. Maybe I'll try tonight. Just told security that I'll be here hopefully till just tomorrow. Um, he was okay with it. I mean, I called this morning too and let them know. But I slept well once I got to sleep, which was a plus. Oh my god, look at this cute little sight. A pair of geese and three little babies. I guess they're going over here for a swim. There's two ducks laying in the shade over there. We used to have Canadian geese in Jersey all the time. And we lived uh, on the 14th hole on the golf course. And my son, Corey, my oldest, would always find some that were in need of help. Frozen in the lake or broken leg, you know, in the winter time. They were so cool. I remember taking one to a rehab center. I'm holding it and I look down, it's full of bird lice. I was grossed out. But they're so cute. They're gonna go in the water. Oh, they hear some geese flying overhead. That was so cool that they turned around and looked. Is that your flock, guys? father's looking at me. Well, this was just your um, morning cuteness. Sorry about the wind. Okay, I should have started filming this before I cut this up. Uh, I'm going to make a sweet potato burger for lunch. This is a sweet potato. All I did was cut it up really small. I'm going to throw it in some boiling water and boil it for a little bit so I have like a mashed potato and then I'll come back. Water boils. I have some black beans that I need to use and some breadcrumbs, garlic powder, some green onions, uh, and some salt and pepper. And then I'll just smash it all up and make a burger or two. We'll see. While that cooks, um, I'll put my spices there. there. I have a little bit of um, uh, taco mix. Put that in here too. Just give it a little bit of spice. I don't measure anything. Just a wee bit. Some parsley, because parsley's good for you. And it ought to be a good color. Some smoked paprika. I 
talked to you about these bags before. Oh crap, that was a lot. Um, I got these off Amazon. They're a spice bag. A um, little plastic window. It's all food grade. But all of my spices were in glass jars and it got so heavy. And so I put all of my spices and herbs in these bags. A little garlic powder. I have to take some of this paprika out of here. I'm just going to smash them with a fork. Ouch, that's hot. I love the color sweet potatoes. I never ate them as a kid. I ate those frozen yam patties like Thanksgiving. Those were delicious, but I don't think my mother ever bought sweet potatoes. See? I'm keeping a little, a little bit of a fiber in there. I'll put my spices in. And I have some shredded carrots, some kale, a roasted red pepper, and some black beans. Let me cut up my pepper. things in my fridge that I need to use or I'm going to end up throwing them out. I wish you could smell it in here. It smells so good. And the carrots are going to help bind it together and give it a little bit of crunch and sweetness. And if you notice, I'm using the same pot because I don't want to dirty any more dishes. Pretty that looks. I just love pretty food. Your typical hamburger doesn't have the color this one has, but does it? This little vegan jab there. All right, I'm gonna get this all mixed together. Some breadcrumbs and panko mixed up. This one looks like. And then I'm gonna let this cool down so I can handle it. And then I'm gonna make probably get two burgers out of this. I'm gonna put it in my air fryer since my Jackery battery is just about charged all the way. I have my panels out again, it's charging right now. Another gorgeous day here. It's supposed to be five degrees hotter today than it was yesterday, which was 80 yesterday. So at least I know my tower fan works on my Jackery in case it gets too hot in here. But I have the back door open too. Look at these beauties. I got two big ones. I have just a little bit left that I just I just threw it out. I could not make them any bigger. I'm gonna cook them in my air fryer. A little grease on the basket here. Or not grease, but oil, so they don't stick. If your air fryer has this little handle, it always gets in the way. Just turn it over. But then you gotta make sure it goes in right. Come on, there we go. All right. These don't take forever to cook. I mean, they don't have to cook because it's all plant-based. It basically just has to be heated through, maybe get a little crunchy on the top. Squish them in there. There we go. I'll put them in the air fryer. Probably about 10 minutes on each side. I've got it plugged into my 
my daiquiri. Ten minutes. Here's my view out this window. That truck right there on the tow truck, that would make a cute house. Oh, and I forgot to put my green onions in. Yeah, put some on top. I bought these at the store the other day and they were just, the bulbs were actually humongous. So I decided to just throw them in water and keep using them. Well, I ended up with two nice sized sweet potato and black bean burgers. I cut up some of my homegrown chives, green onion. And my burger wouldn't be complete without pickles. I have a little mayo, vegan mayonnaise, and some stone ground mustard. Pickles. Doesn't look good, but I'm sure it's going to taste good. Bun. That's it. Cooking in my cargo trailer. This is lunch. I'm going to enjoy it.